Hi guys, it's prime time here on Studio Life. Uh, just doing a short video, or a shorter video. Um, letting you see what I'm doing with this canvas. Got a lot of projects on the go, hopefully tomorrow or the next day be back with another art video, as well as a video from my personal channel. So, I hope everyone's having a great night and let's get started. Well, we've got our canvas. What is this thing? Come in. Uh, this is my portable table. Um, when I've run out of room on, uh, in my studio, when I run out of room on my spare table, this is my portable table and it's basically a crate. Um, it was supposed to be for someone who had ordered three paintings and I had everything all ready to go, had the crate ordered and made and got it and everything and then they backed out. So, um, they backed out because they had cancer, so let's just put that out there. So, uh, I kept the crate and as you can see, it's been used quite a few times. Now, make sure this button shot. What do we need today? We need a shot glass, canvas, my really sickly looking white acrylic paint, my bottle's getting down. And I need some more. And my white acrylic FW ink. Fan brush. Any kind will do. Well, no. Okay. Ooh, I take that back. Quality fan brush. You've got to use a quality fan brush. The ones from the um, dollar stores don't work. So I got this in an art shop. But what I meant to say is any size will do for this. And a little bit of water. So, now, what are we on about? We're going to put, I'm going to try and not spill this all over the canvas while I'm doing it. Now, this is a 16 by 20 canvas. So, this is the FWR ink. And if you make too much, like in my case, don't worry about it. It, it will always be used on something else, so... But you want enough that you're not going to run out. That's the main thing. That's the bad bit about, you know, painting sometimes is because paint and supplies are so expensive. If you make too much and you can't use it, like, oops. Um, so, let's see if this comes out. A lot of air in here. You don't want a lot of white acrylic paint. You don't. Why? Because we don't want this to dry really fast. Acrylic paint dries really fast. Put that on the floor actually. Out of my way. Now you take the fan brush. Actually we're going to use the opposite end. I'm just going to mix that up. You want to make sure that your acrylic paint is totally distributed in the acrylic ink and you're going to say well what's the difference between you know white acrylic ink and white acrylic paint white acrylic paint is thick and it dries fast whereas all your inks are really liquid they're not as bright unless you're using neon and they don't dry as fast and if you mix them with a lot of things, you can do some pretty cool washes, which I'm going to have to show you guys. You can even use oil paint, like water-soluble oil paint, with the two ingredients, what I just put in here. And we're making sure it's like really, 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 really mixed up, because sometimes the white acrylic paint will go in a lump someplace, and then you'll just get like a blob on your canvas, and you don't want that. So before I totally let this go, can you see me? I hope you can see me. We're not going to put that much in. Like we don't want to wash, it's going to take like 12 hours to dry, but we don't want it this thick. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Whoop, there we go. My hands are a little bit shaky.
mix that up and I might I might just put in go by the consistency if it's too if it's too thinned out add just a smidgeroo of the white acrylic paint so I might do that my hands are a little bit shaky because of all I've got going on not going to go into that at the minute come on you out we come well, thank you. Looks kind of gross, but it's effective. Zoop. There we go, that'll do. Just mix it up properly. Make sure you're in shot. Oh, that's good too. Got a lot of work on the go that I want to include you guys in. I've got a lot of commissions I've got to, wow. Get this prime tonight. I've got to do some work on the Victorious piece. I've got to um, edit a photograph tonight. I've got to uh, get back at a drawing so that I can do the backdrop on it, like the background. And you're like, that's taking a while. Well, yeah, because acrylic paint is thick. You don't want blobs. And you want to make sure it's all uniform. Now, get the water out of the way. Paint rag. Wipe this off so you're not, like, wipe off the handle. Ooh. My brush is literally, I've used this so much that all the wood, like all the, um, not the wood, but the coating over the wood, it's like literally starting to peel away. Still works. I'm going to use it till it like dies, basically. So now we take the fan brush. We take our little shot glass of goo. Can you see that? And it's fairly simple. Don't put six thousand pounds of it on. Can you see me? And we'll just do this. And I'm probably going to go out a shot in some of the corners, and that's okay. Because you'll get the idea of what I'm on about. And I'm on the floor. I don't know how. My camera's at a weird angle, so I'm like, kind of below it. I'm behind it. And so I'm doing a peekaboo. Not a Pikachu to make sure I'm in shot and you can already tell I think I hope you can already tell that it's so much brighter than it was already and it's like still wet like obviously it's still wet because I'm doing it <laughs> and before each section dries just sort of go back over and smooth the lines a little bit If the paint feels, and you can tell when it feels too thick, because the paint will just, it's not going to spread right. It's going to feel heavy. So just try and keep it uniform. And drop in the comments below, you guys. What do you think is going to go on this canvas? Hmm? If you've got any ideas, just drop it in the comments below. YouTube's had a weird thing of shutting off my comments lately, but when I get a video up, and I don't know why. I've got to go in like manually and turn them back on again. Smooth everything out the best you can. And one of the blessings about this being a primer is that 
if there does turn out to be any streaks at all, there's paint going over top. So depending on what it is, you know, obviously if, it, if it's a nice smooth skyline, if it's a nice smooth skyline and you find you've got streaks on your primer, take some white acrylic ink by itself and just go over it. And that helps sort of even things, your texture out a little bit. So that, you know, if you're worried about any lines or streaks or whatever. Am I in shot? I'm in shot. Yay! I was going to do this video the other day and I was just coughing so much that it was not happening. We've had a lot of snow here. I don't know if you've got a lot of snow where you're at, but it melts a bit and then before you know it, it's like all back again. Now, there's a couple of reasons why I'm doing this primer. One is to brighten the canvas because of what's going on top. And the other reason is because I just blobbed a little bit, that's okay. Because I'm near down to where I blobbed and I'll be able to like, whoop, I'll just do that now. Um, one is because I want to brighten the canvas and two is because the skin on the canvas is what I call the... <laughs> I think of I think of painting as putting on makeup. You know, you 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 do, you're creating something beautiful um, on top of something beautiful, really. Because all women are beautiful, whether they wear makeup or not. And so, but the skin on this canvas was loose. And even though I tried my technique um, with. wet in the back of the canvas and let it dry. I'll have to show you guys that one again. It was still loose and I don't like wetting the wood, letting, like wetting around the wood on the back side of it too much because that will warp the wood and then you've got a mucked up canvas. So when you put a primer on the top or when you put any kind of a wash on the top, it will help Tighten it from the opposite side. Not bad. Over here, my brush went dry. Smooth it out best you can. And I'm going to push this up a bit because I'm at the bottom. We're getting near the bottom. Sometimes you have to do this as well because the, um, unless you want rough texture, some canvases, you get them and take them out of the package and you can tell if they've got the wobbles, but you can't tell about the texture. Sometimes it's a little bit rough, depending on the company you get the canvas from. And when you do a primer like this, another thing it will do is smooth that all out. So it smooths and it brightens and it's it tightens. It's like a, the perfect face mask, really. And if you don't want your primer to be this bright, I do, but if you don't, then leave out the white acrylic paint. 
just put the um, water acrylic ink on with a bit of water. Okay, almost there. I think this will be the first time I've showed you guys like a complete thing I'm doing instead of just a snippet and then like off I go. And I'm trying not to bump the camera because it's right there. <laughs> Look, it's literally right where my arm is going at the minute. And I'm on the floor, so it's not very comfy. Oh, smoothie smooth. Or as smooth as we can get. And like I said, if if you find that there's a few more streaks as it's drying than you would like, ooh, my tripod is right there. Um, just go over it with the water acrylic ink and a bit of water. Try not to bump anything like I so famously did in my last video. Smooth, 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 smooth. Da -da. Okay, guys, so that's it for this one. And I will be back tomorrow or the next day showing you what I'm on about. This will be dry, and whether or not I put uh, an ink wash on top of it will depend on what it looks like when it dries. So, you guys have an awesome night. I love you lots. Chat soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye.